Hello and welcome. This is Real Numbers video number 12 and today we are going to learn our second theorem that deals with rational numbers with terminating decimal expansion. Now in the last video we looked at the first theorem which simply stated that if we have a terminating decimal expansion, if we have such a rational number, then that rational number we can write it simply in the form of p by q where pq are co-prime and q can then only have prime factors 2 and 5 and 2 can be raised to power m and 5 can be raised to power n where m n they are non-negative integers that means m and n can have values like 0, 1, 2, 3 so on so forth right now in this video let's find out if the opposite is true what do we mean by that Meaning, if it is given to us that we have a rational number and the denominator of the rational number contains prime factors which can be expressed in this form, then does it mean that that rational number will, will always have terminating decimal expansion? So let's find out. Let's take a look at some examples and see if we are able to visualize this. So let's say our, our new, so we don't really care so much about the numerator. The denominator is like this, right? 2 to the power m times 5 to the power n. So let's do one thing. So our the values for m and n, m and n, they can have these values 0, 1, 2, 3, so on and so forth. So let's first take m to be 0 and see what happens. So we have, let's write it over here. So our numerator times 2 to the power 0 times 5 to the power n. So then this number will look like the numerator by 2 to the power 0 is 1. So 1 times 5 to the power n will be simply 5 to the power n. Now, so the denominator here will be 5 to the power n, right? So we can think of this in this form. So let's say n, for example, is say 3. So our denominator will look like this. So if this is the case, we can visualize, we can multiply the denominator by 2 to the power 3 and we can multiply the numerator by 2 to the power 3 without changing the number. If we do this, our new number will be whatever the numerator times 2 to the power 3 by here we can write this as 2 times 5 entire thing power 3 or this will look like, again, the, it will be a new numerator and denominator is 1000, zero, 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 meaning it's a power of 10. And we know that whenever we have this, it will be always a terminating decimal number, right? The decimal expansion will be always terminating. So similarly, here, if we would have done the other way around, meaning we have some numerator and instead of the m being 0, the, let's say we make n 0, meaning then we will have 2 to the power m times 5 to the power 0. So our number will look like this, the numerator times 5 to the power 0 is 1, so we will have 2 to the power m. And this time let's say m equals maybe 6, and I'm randomly taking some values because as long as it is in this range we are good. So if we take some number divided by 2 to the power 6, so if this is the case, we can multiply this by 5 to the power 6 and numerator by 5 to the power 6. And the reason we are doing that is we are trying to make this 10 to the power 6, right? So some number times 5 to the power 6 will be a different numerator now. And denominator will look like this, 10 to the power 6. Or denominator will be some number at the top by there are now 6 zeros, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Clearly, we know this is a terminating decimal expansion, right? So, what if, if both of them are zero? Then in that case, our number will look like, let's do it over here. So, some number, both of them are zero means 2 to the power 0 times 5 to the power 0, which is basically nothing but that number itself. And any number, we can write that as 0, 0.0, right? So, in other words, intuitively, we see that if indeed a denominator has prime factors 2 and 5 and it is of the form 2 to the power 
m times 5 to the power n and if they are m n are non-negative then indeed the decimal expansion will, will always be terminating and that is actually this theorem so the theorem simply states that if we have a rational number which is written in the form of pyq and the prime factorization of q is of this form then the decimal expansion will always be terminating 